got the 11 and 12 scale, number one, number two. And we're gonna make the tracks for the silver to flow through and get these babies pulled. Okay, we got our tracks in there. I'm gonna put the other side on and clamp it and get her poured. Looks like this one is gonna be good. We got our tracks poured so the silver flows nicely down into the mold. We'll get the other side on, get her clamped, and get her poured. Hey YouTube, Jack Silver here, back again. Thanks for watching my silver pouring videos. I've been documenting my pouring experience for the last six or seven months. Over 60 videos of pouring mostly different items. This time we have the 12 and 11 scale, number one, number two. First time I poured the 11, 12 scale, I've done a 10, I've done a 13, 20, 30, 40, 60, 80. And although I have a 100 scale prototype, I have not been able to pour another good hundred scale bar so actually the only prototype bar that wasn't sold is the the big one that you may see posted on my Instagram channel or seen on a previous video so this should be pretty straightforward it's gonna be a quick pour the silver's ready already got it stored uh, stirred got a nice hole in there so four pieces one pour I'm excited let's get these going so we can get them polished up and get them out there we've had a few people asking can you make more and i've been making them as fast as i can it's been raining the last five days here in south texas so took a break did some antiquing and some coins hope you can check that out on my instagram page i posted a bunch of different antique coins put them up for auction put them up for razzles uh it's a lot of fun and uh, people like them so i really appreciate that Let's get this pour going and see what we can do with these today and hopefully get it right. All right, I have my protective glove on and we're just gonna lift this little crucible out. It's a smaller one, so we have to use these pliers here. Grab it, make sure we got a nice firm grip on it. Should be easy. Get it straight down in there and it looks like it did it was actually looks like perfect amount of silver just a little over the top there let's get it opened up let's see what it looks like All right, great. Filled the mold. Nice, not a lot of cleanup to do, it looks like. As you know, it all comes down to the details because the details have to be really good in order to stamp it. Because when we stamp it, it does take away a little bit of that detail. It gives it that cool, worn dragon scale effect. This dragon's been slayed, so we want it to look slayed, but we still want the detail, so it's got a, be a thing of beauty okay i like that i like that i think we're gonna have some good detail in here we're gonna get that well oh yeah i'm liking it already i can see the nice straight edges this is gonna be sweet we got them washed off there the initial cleanup as you know from or may not know from if you haven't watched my previous videos thickness is key so we want them thick but not too thick and Thin, but not too thin <laughs> uh, so looks like those are gonna be nice get the stamp on there get them polished up cut up see how they look thanks again for watching my videos hope you'll enjoy the pictures of the finished product at the end of this video hope you'll like subscribe and share if you know anybody who's into smelting silver Thanks again for watching. Jack Silver. See ya.